Hey everybody, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Earlier today, some new Ubiquiti gear was shown on Reddit, and this is from ISC West, which is, I think, a security conference. Now, since this is public, I'm allowed to share it and kind of tell you my thoughts on these products. Two out of the three products that I'm gonna show today were at the Ubiquiti World Conference in Chicago, but there I wasn't able to take pictures so we weren't able to talk about it. Now, the first piece of hardware is the Dream Machine Pro Max, and the thing that stands out is it has two hard drives. I would assume this is gonna be for Protect, that way we have hard drive redundancy and it will be in RAID 1. This also includes every single Unify application going from Unify Network, Unify Talk, Unify Protect, Unify Access, Unify Connect, and most likely Unify Interspace. Now, if I remember correctly from the Ubiquity World Conference, the Pro Max is supposed to handle about double the amount of devices and double the amount of clients as compared to the UDM SE. If we look on the Ubiquity website, the UDM SE could handle 100 devices and 1,000 clients. So that means the Pro Max might be able to handle 200 devices and 2,000 clients, which is a huge step forward. Another thing they talked about was high availability. So now we have high availability with our hard drives. So for Protect, we have the RAID 1 with the extra hard drive. We have the power redundancy. So we have our normal power spot, and then we have the RPS. And then in Unify 4.0, we're supposed to have true high availability with shadow mode. If you use shadow mode right now, you know it's barely usable. They do sync up, but if there is a failure, you have to do manual intervention. And with Unify OS 4.0, this is all supposed to be automated. Now, some other things about the Pro Max, the eight ports on the front, they don't have any power over ethernet. If you're gonna be deploying anywhere between 100 and 200 devices, which this could handle, you most likely will have other PoE switches in your environment. Port nine and 10 are our WAN port still. So port nine does 2.5 gigabit per second, port 10 does 10 gigabit per second, and port 11 for our LAN is at 10 gigabit per second. Another new feature on this is the compute. So with IDS and IPS, we could do 4.3 gigabit per second routing. On the UDM SE, we could only do 3.5. And that's pretty much the Dream Machine Pro Max. So let's move on to the next device. And that next device is the G5 PTZ, which is a compact PTZ camera, which features two times optical zoom. I did see this up close and it is relatively small, a lot smaller than their PTZ currently. This camera is a 2K 4 megapixel. It's weatherproof and it's powered by PoE and I can't wait to test this out. I think this will be great for residential properties. And the last device is the Axis Ultra, the Axis reader with the built-in hub for entry control that supports NFC cards, key fobs, and mobile access. So this is something we really haven't seen before in the Ubiquiti line. It has one lock terminal, it has one additional input for a sensor or buttons, and we also unlock with NFC or with the Identity Mobile app. And it is also weather resistant with IP55, and I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on this. Now that's it for the leaks, and I really can't wait to test out all three of these products. I'm really excited for the PTZ and the new UDM Pro Max, as a lot of my clients will be able to leverage this. Let me know down in the comments what you think of these three devices. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.